Hello Pokey friends, this is Bulbasaur Pod, and this is going to be my very first video um, showing my collection. This is a very, very small part of my collection that I'm going to show to you today in this binder. I have cards just sort of scattered everywhere when it comes to my collection. It's, um, I don't usually collect sets, I will um, just collect the cards I really like, or the Pokemon I really like. This is the, a Charizard EX from Fire Red Leaf Green. Love this card to death. And this is actually really neat. This is a 3D printed PSA card stand. So I can link that in the description below if anybody's interested in making or uh, getting their own created. I had this custom customized. There's um, he does customizations and can actually just make something you know plain, just plain Pokeball or something, if you would like. So let's get to this. Let's see. Okay. So to start. I have my little Ammonite section. There's not much history with this. I started it because I was, honestly, I was running out of, uh, I was running out of things that I really enjoyed to collect, like Pikachu and Charizard, stuff like that. I, um, really think it's, I like the, I like the Ammonite because of the silly, the silly anime show where the Ammonite does the blessings, the Helix Fossil blessings. And I always just, I'm just amused by that, so it's kind of like the good luck charm in my binder. Here's the power keeper. It's a cool hollow. I really love reverse hollows. They are, well, at least the stamped reverse hollows. They have a special place in my heart. I love them, love them. So that's just my small section of all nights. This little guy up here is fake. They still ain't. I still like it. And these are Japanese. These are stickers down there. Let's see those. Pretty cool. Over here is a Chiyo dude. Little tiny Chiyo Judo page. There's front and back to this as well. This, just like as the other one I just showed you, was Legendary Collection. These are the... I actually don't have very many of these and it makes me so sad because as a kid I wasn't very impressed with the set. <laughs> only because it reminded me too much of base set 2 and I was over the reprints at the time but I really love these little firework blast hollow reverse hollows so it's those and we got another sticker this is actually a sticker too this is <laughs> this is a pointless little spot I just um I like these couple Magikarp. There's no nothing really special about any of them. Maybe this guy, but even then, I have a uh, I have other Magikarp, and I need to find actually a whole separate binder. But I have some special cards in that need to be maybe added to this. It was a um, one little random Gyarados. I had a Shining Magikarp and um, Shining Gyarados that would probably be good there. Here is oh gosh, Hidden Fates. And if you're watching this video currently, I am sure either you're crazy sick of Hidden Fates or um, you're still crazed about it. You still <laughs> I am personally, I guess, kind of over it at this point. I've completed all of the reverse and common, uncommon, rares. Uh, so I have that master set part of this completed. What, um, I also have all the, the baby shinies. I have all those. So, let's go through these. And something else that, you know, would just be interesting to mention is that this has had a few print runs at this point. Um, uh, let me see. So, the reason I mentioned that is because these baby hollows have pretty crazy um, differentiation between some of them. So if you look at this, look at the surface, it is glossy, very glossy and thick. 
this one almost has what is called or referred to as like a hollow bleed. So the pattern below started coming through and it's almost glimmery. It's almost got like a, a shimmer to it. And, and this is how it should look. It's just kind of matte. It's not, you know, glittery. See how this one's, I guess, kind of looks a little similar, but this one's got it pretty good in comparison to this Lucario. He's got that little gloss to it. It's interesting because the quality control, um, unfortunately, that means that the quality control, you know, as, as per usual with Pokemon these days, just wasn't, wasn't very strict. Therefore, there's a couple of different variations you can actually get of these because it depends on if you got your... Um, cards from an Elite Trainer Box, or an Ultra Ball, or the early sets from the Tins. So moving on to the big boy. <laughs> I actually pulled this guy in the car. <laughs> and lucky for me, I actually had a, a sleeve. I actually brought sleeves with me because I knew I wouldn't be able to, to wait to get home to open these, uh, my tin. I actually had a Gyarados tin that this came out of. And, you know, there's the... There's the Kingzard. Everybody really loves this card right now. This is the chase card of Hidden Fates. I actually pulled two of these. I pulled another in an Ultra Ball collection. I was shocked to get one, let alone two. I was so lucky. Some people have not gotten even one after, after their hunting endeavors. But my Full Art Shiny collection is actually not complete. I am missing some, so... Um, if you're if you trade or anything, you know, hit me up. Maybe maybe we can help each other finish our collections because this one's got some holes, and I'm not I don't typically try and finish collections because it's just too overwhelming, and I really would like to get this one completed. So that is the Hidden Fates section of this binder that actually was put in there because I was running out of room and it needs its own binder. So for now, it's done with this, guys. This is going to be the sort of like my old school stuff. This stuff has a history for me. Um, I've had a lot of these since I was a little girl. And I mean, obviously you can see the newer stuff. Like that's from one of those uh, little tins. The tin, um, oh, they're super cute. They're only like, like that big. But the art on them is so adorable. This is a an old school tops pop-up. These are actually pretty rare to find that are not used. People, you know, obviously wanted to use them and pop them out and display them. Tops. Pop. Eight of ten. So that's pretty cool. Just an interesting little part of my collection. There's a little Tops Hollow. There's really not much rhyme or reason to my binders. Unfortunately, um, it seems a little chaotic to other people, but to me it's... <laughs> I get... <laughs> Um, you know, to me, it's it's just a, comp a a culmination of all my favorite different types of art and different types of cards, so it makes sense to me. Controlled Chaos, I'll call it. That was the uh, Ivysaur pre-release. That was from Fire Red Leaf Green, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Any of these, and if any of this, if I um, give inc incorrect information, please don't hesitate to correct me. This is from the Gym series. I decided to put all those guys together. It's the Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and um, Venusaur. Do you see that? I'm gonna show, let me see. Let me show you this. I guess I never really took a really close look at this. Look at those trees back there. I never, I never noticed that. And look at that cool swirl right above him. Ooh, looking, looking good there. It looks really neat. Uh, that's cool. So that is Erica's Venusaur. Only Erica's. You may not have it. it does not belong to you. And here is Crystal Guardians. Um, this is just the reverse hollows of the set. You can see they've got the stamp. And again, like I said, I love stamped cards. This Ivysaur kick in the butt of that Jigglypuff. <laughs> That's a sticker. That's uh, Southern Islands, another... Oh, here's a Shadowless. 
uh, stickers. Look at how cute that little guy is. Is he? It looks like he's paralyzed or something. I don't know what's going on. Minimizing? I, <laughs> I don't know. My gosh, I don't know. And here is a cute little sticker. Look at that. Pickle fairy's eating. Cute. Okay, over here. Back to the big boys. Okay, so a lot of these I've had since I was a little girl. And I had a thing for collecting hollows. I would trade the little kids in the neighborhood along with, you know, and I was a little kid at the time. I would just, I would trade anything I could to get more and more holographic cards, especially of the main three, the Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. I have an extensive Charizard collection. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's in its own separate binder. Um, it was in with the others. There's Blastoise in this binder as well. It, it used to be in here, but it just got too big. So this, I actually remember, I traded this to somebody at a card show. Um, I don't know if they do them anymore. Like, it, if anybody knows what I'm talking about by chance, it's when they have had those comic books and baseball cards in the middle of like, let's say like a mall. That's where um, there was like a little pop-up thing. It was an event. And somebody there had this, and I traded my prized Shining Mew, the Koro Koro Shining Mew. I don't know if that's what it was, right? I'm not sure. But I regretted that, but it was one of those trades you just can't go back on as a child. Here's another one that I actually purchased maybe a few years ago. I want to say maybe five years ago. It was um, right before... Pokemon Go blasted the roof off of the Pokemon market. Everything used to be pretty affordable when it comes to collecting. Now everything is very hard to obtain and it's bittersweet because I love seeing new collectors um, coming into into the game. But then it's harder for me to get all the stuff, so quit it. <laughs> Here is a two base set twos and the rest. I have a thing for trying to fill a whole page full. And I love, love, love Blast or Blastoise. What the heck? Bulbasaur, Venusaur, and Ivysaur. So Bulbasaur especially has a special place in my heart. Hence, you know, hence all that. You know, you know, you know. Here we go. This is this one's fun because most people don't know about these cards. These are called web, um, web web cards. It was a very short print run in Japan, and it was actually reprinting old art on their cards to give people the chance to obtain some of the rarest art of the cards at the time. This one's first edition. They did have an unlimited run, too. So there's... At the time that I actually... So, like, I, I got these when they were first released. And at the time, I had no idea where these really came from. I ordered them from Japan, I just really liked them, and it gave me a chance again to have some of that art that I just couldn't have. It's too expensive. Um, but I even remember checking forums, and the... almost nobody, nobody could tell me about these cards, but I kept collecting them, so it was, that was good for me to do that, because they're, they're worth some money today, but... yeah. I have a whole separate page for these that um, I'll come across eventually here and I'll show you guys. Okay, yeah, see, so I'm just blind. This <laughs> Erica's Venusaur has some pretty pretty rad trees back there. Do you see that? I've never moved the hollow, I guess, in the right way to see it. So there is your soar. Very cool. Little surprises, you know, when you actually bother to take a really close look at some things. There's a Rumble. Rumble Venusaur. This guy is so cool. This uh, came in a Rumble pack. This one's a little bit beat up. Look at that little Dratini. That's pretty cute. I don't know, does that mean he's gonna beat that Dratini up? <laughs> Get out of there! Run! Over here, these are... These are fake. They're very clearly fake, but they're they're fun. Look at that guy. That's cool. Okay, let's... 
this, I believe, there's a little something in there, okay, I believe these came from, you see that little lightning bolt, I believe that's a CD promo, there was a promo CD, um, not promo CD, but there was promo cards released in a CD in Japan, and I believe a little small set of cards came with the CD, so, um, there's some play energies, of course, we gotta have a rainbow rare here. Oh, let's just see that. This is super cute. I love collecting art that other people have made. Um, and a little thing about me is I'm actually an uh, illustrator for an online website, and that's what I've been doing for about 12 years. Maybe, oh my gosh, 13 maybe, as of this video. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, I really appreciate artwork, so. This is a painted on card. I did not do this. I need to figure out the artist who did this because they didn't, um... Okay, I am a goof. That. <laughs> I'm assuming that is who made this card. Wow. You search for it, you'll find it. So Renee Sanchez painted this. It's adorable. And speaking of adorable, I yes, I'm going to make you look at this card too, and many others. Look at how freaking adorable that is. Just, I can't get over, this is what, Red's Challenge, um, the secret rare? This was the tag team, ultra, ultra tag team GX, uh, Japanese set that just came out, I think. Um, maybe not just came out, but recently, I should say. Here is some more custom art. There's the signature of the artist, but honestly, I I can't remember. That's This is a different artist than the one on the other side, I believe. And I think the initials say L-O-R. L-O-R. Let me check to make sure that there's... No, there's no signature, so I'll have to figure out which artist exactly is that. These are so... Fun. Let me show you. Come on. There. These are tops. Look at that. So it's a little bit popped out a tiny bit and look. It's actually cut that way. It's a special what, 9 out of 12 tops card. Then I have the Squirtle and the War Turtle and the Blastoise. And of course, like I said, I collect, I love the big three of Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. Oh, you know what? I think I see. Let's try this one. I think this one has a cool little swirl. <laughs> I will show you the cool one with the swirlies. Look at that. That is just too cool. I just love how pretty these really are. And that's Dark Blastoise. I um, actually got most of these because when I was maybe 10, I bought a big lot of first edition uh, rocket cards. Gosh, it was in one of those white um, card boxes about this full of hollows. The first edition holographic, so it was a pile of Charizards, maybe that big. A pile of Blastoise is that big. Every hollow you can think of. And... Um, nobody wanted them. <laughs> if you guys can remember how common first edition Team Rocket and Rocket Packs were, nobody wanted to buy them. You could, you know, buy the handfuls, you could get them a dollar a piece. Um, and by the way, don't buy stuff off of eBay when you're 10 years old. Don't do it. <laughs> By personal experience, it could really make your, your mother angry. So, just a heads up. If <laughs> you're watching this, don't go on eBay. Don't do it. Not if you're too too young. Here we got Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise. These are first editions. Um, this is just a Shadowless. It's actually really beat up. I have um, the whole first edition base set graded in um, the hollows. Eight and nine hollows that I will definitely show when, when I get the chance. I mean, it's just, it's not my, honestly not my favorite part of my whole collection. My, you know, it's this kind of stuff where I, I pick my favorites pretty much. So, but I will show it someday. 
There's a lot of little, I love the Japanese hollows because there's always those swirlies. Here we've got, so down from here down are these set two, which was, you know, just a reprint with the hollows having instead of the, that star pattern, it had the, what is it called, cosmos pattern? I don't know, the dots. Here is another one of those, see the lightning bolt? That was another one that came in that CD promo, I do believe. Again, if I'm wrong about any of this, please tell me. Don't want to be looking like a fool. Here is some National Championship Blastoises. Another random, another random Blastoise just tucked there. I am in love, love, love with this dude. Because I pulled this card on my own. It was one of those things that I really, really, really wanted. But I just kind of figured I wasn't going to get because I would, I would have to find somebody that had it. And I don't go to League anymore. And uh, so that means I would have to find somebody to trade or I would actually be able to, you know, pull it myself. I was not going to buy it. It's expensive. So, well, it was. I'm not sure how much it's worth anymore. I haven't checked current pricing, but um, I am super, super stoked that I got to pull that. Some stickers, and of course, I'm going to make you see this. And watch, 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 watch. Look at how precious that little squirtle is. I can't even. This was from the same tag team, Ultra, Ultra Tag Team, the Japanese set. Um, green. Green's Exploration, I believe. I still need to get Blue's Tactics with the Charmander. So, but I've got the Red's Challenge Green's Exploration. <laughs> and I'm gonna just point this out because it's hilarious. <laughs> Save him! Look at his little tears. He's got him. Squirtle Squad on the, on the go. Okay, so we can't obviously have a have a complete complete binder here without showing my little Mew collection. I actually have a bunch of Mew and Mewtwo's in a other little binder somewhere that I need to add to this, but it's been MIA for a while. I have way too many cards. This is Shining Mew. This is the one I mentioned earlier that I actually traded for the for that um First edition Venusaur. The, I had the original one in the in the wrapper still and the, all that. See, that wasn't sealed, but it was still in its original little case. And oh my gosh, I loved it so much. So I finally replaced it. It's never going to be the same, but it's a beautiful, beautiful card. I mean, really, it's look at that. <laughs> no. Really, really beautiful. It's, it's a, honestly, it's probably my most favorite card. It's, nothing compares to it, in my opinion. And every Mew collection has one of these, I feel like. A little hair on it. There we go. Little kitty hair. I have kitties, so. This one is just the regular English version, and it's not, you know, there's no error on this guy. I actually have the Japanese version of this, but it's still in its, in its, um, sealed booklet. I don't want to take it out, so. And there it will remain. Here we have Bubble Mew, Lily Pad, Koro Koros, I believe, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, as, as per usual. Maybe this was part of the... I don't know. I'm not sure, so I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> this one, however, I am certain of. I pulled this myself when it was released in Japan. Um, I bought a pack of the McDonald's cards that were released. Um, I was sent from Japan, and 
it was sealed and all that, and I ended up pulling the rarest card that you could. And if you can see, do you see that? Right there, a little circle, that's an indent. Oh my gosh. It came with a coin, and the coin pressed into the card. So, that wasn't very thrilling. But, again, like at the time, this card was maybe $200, maybe three. Um, and cards that, you know, back then at that price were actually not very common. Even Charizard wasn't, you know, maybe first edition was worth that much. Not this, not, you know, not even regular unlimited Charizard. So that was, that was exciting to have. And of course I'm going to show you this precious little guy. Look at, look at, look at, look at those little toes. Look at those cute little pink toes. Adorable. We are nearing the end of the bind the binder at this point. This is the Delta Southern Islands. Um, league League promos um, first place. Mm, this one's pretty cool. Look at that lenticular. Let's see my hand through the other side. <laughs> Pretty cool. PC7 for anybody who wants to see or look up any cards. I try and give at least the numbers close up so you can find them on your own. Of course, I have tons of those fossil mews. Shining Mew. Okay, I have that. These are some really neat little stickers. Here is onto the Mewtwo's, and like I said before, I actually have a little binder already of different Mewtwo's that I use that I need to find. Look at the art on that. That's just so. I mean, it's just some of these cards, really impressive. Look at that. Oh, you can see the shine right in his eye. Staring you down. Here it is. Rockets, Mewtwo. Very cool. Do you see? I can kind of see like what is that? A building maybe in the background? Like right there. A little swirl above him. Love those swirls. We play. We need to play spot the swirl. Here's the a winner. Um, best winner for all. Rocket Mewtwo Unlimited. Here's some more. Are oh, these vending? Maybe these are vending. So these little. Okay, yeah, that, that's that's right, that's right, that's right. So, there's the Mew that I showed you earlier with the uh, bubble Mew. This, that's a vending machine promo. Vending promo. Here's the Japanese promo down here, 2015. We're, nothing special really, honestly, with that. Here's fan favorite, and one of my personal favorites is the art for Mewtwo. Look at this thing. Mew tube. So whoever coined that phrase is a little genius. <laughs> a little the guy's stuck in there. Poor, poor Mewtwo. Very cool art though. Art for the cause, Mewtwo. He took one for the team, bud. Okay. I know a lot of you have this card probably, but come on. That's hilarious. That Mewtwo is like fed up fed up with that Muse stuff. I'll just say stuff. Keep it family friendly. Here we go. And last but not least, I actually just took apart this collection. Like I said, I don't actually try and put together many collections and it's because of this. <laughs> I can't stand the monotony of trying to find all the cards for a collection. It just drives me nuts and it makes me sad when I can't fill it. So I took it apart and I kept my favorites. Obviously this was one. What was my Mewtwo and Muse? So that is that. This was a deck deck promo, world deck promo. Not promo, I'm sorry. Um world championship deck. That's what that's for. So that's all for this binder. I have many other binders and many other side collections I'm excited to show. 
I, um, you know, I'm, I love showing my cards. Uh, oh, look at that. Um, to anybody that really isn't interested in them, I, I appreciate those who appreciate the collecting and, and cards. Um, let's see. I have. This Oop. for whoever would like. It's a Meowth VMAX special collection code for whoever would like it. If you could just comment if you take it so nobody else tries and you know get disappointed or anything. So that's for whoever. Thanks for watching my video. I will have um, things like I will be opening um, packs of cards, I'll be opening boxes, I will be opening um, mail. Actually, I have tons and tons of mail that I've saved um, for the past month, so that's going to be an exciting video in itself. I don't even remember what's in half of it anymore. So, I will be re-surprised <laughs> with what is in there. Okay, so I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye!